Ah, ladies and gentlemen, part two of the uh, Build for Others uh, BF109. And uh, again, video updates. Uh, when I build for people, I like to uh, show the work. Uh, it gives also an extra pair of eyes. Uh, if I miss something or uh, they want to change something, they can see it better than an actual photo. So that's why we do the multiple uh, video updates when I uh, build for others. Uh, last I left off, got the plane... Uh, basically prepped for painting and uh, I sprayed the entire plane in uh, flat black primer. That was to give me a blank canvas to paint it the same uh, but different. And normally uh, once I would paint a plane uh, I would do either a little bit of pre-shading. If you don't know pre-shading that's painting the uh, panel lines a black or a uh, dark gray. This gives uh, the illusion of depth, and it just uh, helps with the overall uh, aesthetic of the plane, as in for helping with weathering. Now, if you paint everything all black, you kind of eliminate the pre-shading because it's already there. You just paint in between the panels, and you already got the uh, uh, panel lines pre-shaded. That's the best way I can explain it. So, with that being said, uh, got it all painted black. And I put RLM 76 on the uh, bottom here. And you can probably see a little bit of the uh, shading coming through on the uh, panel lines. Got the bottom painted. And then on the uh, top here is actually RLM 75, I believe. That's just for the uh, initial base coat on uh, the plane. And then once that dried, for about a day, I came back in with some very high-tech Tamiya masking tape, and I masked off the uh, splinter pattern, and uh, got that all masked off and sprayed RLM 74. And uh, I do camo a tad bit different than everyone else. Uh, you should be able to see it. I try to. I know. Well, I don't try to make it distinct. Uh, see how vibrant that is? I don't, I try to uh, blend it in a little bit. Uh, I don't change the color of it. I just do it a little more lightly uh, out of the airbrush. And you should be able to see the uh, pattern in the light, maybe. Uh, I did on the wings. It's on the uh, fuselage and on the uh, bottom of the tail there. Again, uh, style of my style of painting, I like the camo a little subtle. I just think it looks uh, more uh, realistic. And uh, once everything is dry here, I'm going to go back in and do post shading, which uh, I will go in and uh, darken up the uh, panel lines, a little bit of weathering. Again, keeping it clean, but keeping it just a tad bit weathering, a little bit of, uh, I like to preach style, my style of painting. Uh, painting uh, vehicles. Uh, if you notice the side, I did a little bit of stippling uh, with the airbrush. On, I did RLM 74 and 75. I basically went in and uh, stippled the uh, sides because you notice on it has a little stippling in there. And then uh, this 109 has a white nose and a, uh, a white tail and I got Got the initial white on, and uh, once that dries, I'm going to go back in and uh, uh, get it just a tad bit more whiter on uh, the tail and also on the white. But I don't want it too, uh, I try not to get it too, I don't want to make it toy like. I want it more uh, toned down white for more realistic. That's just the way it, uh, I like to paint on white. It keeps it subtle and it blends in with the uh, rest of the plane. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I've got going on today. Uh, we're at the painting stage of the uh, 109 here, and uh, next video will should be uh, weathering and uh, decals. So that's what I got going on today. Stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode.